Hi, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, I'd like to begin by giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakodash. I double honor to the apostles who were like great men stone. Let's push in this word of sincerity and truth. I say Shalom. I read a word from James Shinnerah to do a verification from the book of Isaiah 62. You know, the book of Isaiah chapter 62, and you know, I'm going to take it real quick. It says, For Zion's sake will I hold, will I not hold my peace? Right? For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest. Right? So the Lord's sake will not hold the peace. For Zion's sake, he's not going to hold his peace. So the Lord will not bring that rat. Why? For our sake. Right? And the word Zion means what? Does in Hebrew is the Zion one, which means monument. Right? When it go into it, it goes it goes into monument. Right? Um and I think the word monument actually goes back to memorial. I'll see if I correct. Monument. The statue of building or other structure erected to commemorate a noble person or event. Right? Memorial. Memory, right? Some it's um similar um memorial. All right. And that goes back to memory. Right? This is a state of other um script um structure placed over graves in memory of the dead, right? So the word it goes back to a monument to be remember. In other words, right? And the Lord the Lord the Lord didn't forsake the nation of Israel. Um, the scripture coming to my head right now. Um, the scripture coming to my head right now. Isaiah. See Isaiah chapter one and justice and this journey will not end until we are victorious. The future of this planet will see. David, my second. Um Isaiah 1 and 16 says, Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doing. It says, From before mine eyes cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, reveal. Relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widows. Come now, let us reason together. Say it, Yahweh, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as they shall be as wool. If ye willing, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Right to so the right to so the, the, the the Lord say um as I was saying before, Zion to Zion means well, memory. 
So the Lord, the Lord in in forget us. To my next scripture come into my mind. Um, Isaiah, Isaiah, what Isaiah? Don't know if it's Isaiah twenty six, right? I remember that's also that uh, Isaiah gate. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54 and 7. So like you have to be pausing, you know? Isaiah 54 and 7 says for it says for a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercy will I gather thee. In a little rod had my face hid my face from from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy to 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 thee, said Yahweh, thy redeemer. <laughs> Alright? So the Lord say our oh, hey, we are a monument unto him. So the Lord didn't forsake us, the Lord didn't forget us. Right? The Lord Yahashem Yashai is with us. It says, um, it says, and Jerusalem, it says, for Zion's sake will I hold not, will I not hold my peace, and Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, right? Until the righteous thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burn it. And we're going to bring this righteousness, right? Because the Lord said he will not rest, right? War we're going to bring that righteousness. Destruction we're going to bring that kingdom, right? Because we're talking about redeeming Israel again, right? And here what the Lord says, he says, um, Isaiah 63 and 2, he says, Wherefore are thou, I'm a tafaka, I will go start from three, he says, I have treading the winepress alone. And of the people, there was none with me. For I was, for I will tread them in my anger, because the Lord is angry, and um, trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will stain all their raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Right, so the day vengeance is in whom? Is in the Lord's heart. All right, and I want for, for for this goodness to come. Hey, war must happen. Destruction had happened. Right. Peace is the byproduct of war. You understand? In order for you to get peace, in order for we to in order for you to, to live in peace. Hey, something had to take. Something had to be in the middle to take place, and that is war. Something had to be there to take place. Right? So in order for that goodness, hey, something bad in, in this case, right? Which is um the, the coming of our Lord, right? This child is gonna bring heavy destruction on this place, right? The world war world war um, world war three, right? In order for it to you know, for the Lord to bring that brightness upon um, Israel. It says, And the Gentiles shall see, verse 2, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness. This, these are not um, Israelite foreigners. It says, The Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and the kings, and all that, and, and all kings, thy glory. It says, And thou shalt be called the new by a new name which the mouth of Yahweh shall name right a new name a refreshed name right Israel Yashallah right the Lord gonna refresh his name again right it says new thing fresh we're gonna make it a fresh because now, now in this time, the, the nation of Israel will be known. The Lord's, the Lord's people, in other words, they will be known. 
the whole world will know us. Right? And it goes on to say what? Um, by a new name which the mouth of Yahweh shall name, thou shall also be crowned. Shall be a crown of glory in the hands of Yahweh and a royal dear, um, dear, dear, dear them, dear them. Right? When, like, when they're going to this dear them here, it's actually a um, turban. Right? Turban. Let's Google it real quick. So this is how we're gonna be in the hands of in the hand of Yahabashi Shai. A royal see that? A crown, a jewel. Right? A jewel. See, there was a peculiar people. Right? Lively stones. Right? And these stones be speaking about something precious, precious stones. It says, Verse 4 says, Thou shalt no more be turned, be turned forsaken, right? Neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt call, be called Hephzabah, Hef and thy land Bethuel, right? Uh, when you go into that word, Hefzabah, it says, My delight is in her. It says, Well, the queen of, ki queen, uh, queen of the king of Hezekiah and the mother of Manasseh, the name, a name for Jerusalem, right? So that's the next name for Jerusalem, right? And Jerusalem is what the motherland, right? Right, so it says, um, "Thou shall no more turn forsaken." Right, because you are the nation of Israel forsaken right now. Right, the land of Israel is forsaken. The Lord spread now in that land right now. Right, that the area is here. It will be turned desolate because the land of Israel, more or less, is a desolate place. Right, that's something called the, the kibbutz, the, the kibbutz. But the hard was to take plants and actually plant it over there because, you know, the, 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 the Lord's spirit isn't over there, right? His people that isn't, isn't there, right? And um, Beulah goes back to uh, to marry, rule over, right? Hey, and there's a good example to show that when you marry a woman, you rule over, like the scripture tell you. Um, 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 your husband in, in the book of Genesis, hey, your, your um, thing shall be to your husband and he shall rule over thee. Your desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. Alright? Um, I think that, um, where's that? Um, Genesis 3. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, it goes on to say, um, Verse five it says for it says as for as a young man married a virgin or so like for verse four still it says for the Lord delighted in thee and thy land shall be married right the Lord delighted in thee and thy land shall be married so the Lord will you go marry that land again. It spread go dwell in that land again. For as a young man married a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. 
I have set watchman here, the Lord will rejoice over me. All right? The Lord will not rejoice um, in that day. Right? Because as I read in 63 years here, you know, vengeance is in the Lord's heart. You know, the Lord delighting to, to, to bring judgment upon this place. He says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall neither hold their peace day nor night. Right? Ye that make mention of your hour, keep not silent. Right? Jerusalem start, it starts with the people. Right? We're talking about our, that land in, in um, Palestine right now. Right? We're talking about the people. And the ones who the Lord say he set watchmen is, is the men who bring in all this word in truth and in sincerity, beginning with the apostles. Right? Who not going and hold the peace day nor night. Who not going and water down this, the, this wood. Alright? It says, "Why well, ye make mention of your hour, keep not silent. Right? Ezekiel said, well, he will, not, he will not make mention of your Lord, but he had was to make mention of him. Right? Um, it's Jeremiah. It says, And give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right? Yeah, I can I can only that, that scripture. I also um, look for that scripture, you know. For the edification sake, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. That's Jeremiah chapter 20. And I says, Then I said, I will make, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But the word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing. And I could not see. Right? So Jeremiah and all, he was to make mention of the Lord when he, he, he tell himself he would not have anymore. <laughs> right? So you see what? Give him, and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right? It says Yahweh will you will have had sworn by his right hand and by his arms of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies and the sons of strangers shall not shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored, right? And that, hey, we ain't going to go through that slavery anymore. We ain't going to go and go through that poverty anymore, all right? Because that was a curse upon us. So in other words, that curse is going to be lifted up. Right? That curse is going to be lifted up. Deuteronomy 28. And the Lord will smite thee. The Lord shall smite thee with madness, and thou shalt go up noonday. Thou shalt I will, and thou shalt only oppress spoil thy way. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and thou, thou shalt build right. Tete says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Right? So, yeah. The Lord say, um, in verse 8, The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by his arm, and by the arms of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn, to be meat for the enemies, right? So all that curse is going to be lifted up. It says, by thy, it says, but they that have gathered, it shall eat it, and pray, and, and, and who going to gather it? We going to gather we, we food, and we going to eat it. Right? 
and praise Yahweh, and they shall have brought it together, shall drink it in the courts of thy holiness. Right? Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of thy people, cast up, cast up the highway, got out the stones, lift up the standard. Right? A signal and sign a banner. Lift up the banner for thy peop for the people. Behold Yahweh and proclaim unto the end of the world. Say, Ye to the daughters of Zion, behold my salvation cometh. Behold his reward is with him and his works before him. Right? Hey, scripture tell you that. Let no man take thy crown. What is um let's see if I could get that? Get my sword right here. Revelation chapter twenty. Uh, Revelation chapter twenty two and verse twelve. It says, "Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his works. Work shall be." Alright. So the Lord says, "Reward is with him." Alright. Verse twelve. Verse twelve. It says, "And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed." Right. The redeemed. Ransom. Right. By Marian. Right. The Lord redeem. He retrieve us. Of Yahweh, and thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. Right? Hey, that's true that the Lord haven't forsaken us. Right? But what we had was to do is go through slavery, we had to go through bondage. You know? So, hey, so like carefully, they'll pause here and pause here, you know, through the spirit. I want to give all praises to you. Abashim, Yashai, Abashim, Mokakodash. Double long as to the apostles who rule well a great millstone. Peace and blessing to you, brothers. That which is well and sincere. Give me truth. Shalom.